and then you're going to want your engine mount tube right here and we want to start by measuring one and three eighths inches from one end so which is about 35 millimeters so here's one here's three eighths of an inch so right there and that's where this centering ring is going to get glued right there like that but before we do that I'll take this and draw a line down the length of the tube. If you don't have an angle, aluminum angle like this, we, at Apogee Components we sell the Estes Ultimate Tube Marking Guide. Uh, that works really good too. So just draw a line down the length. And that line, um, I want to just temporarily put this on here. And I want to use um, align it with one of the little notches right there and then I want to go see now this one is on on your right or my right your left as you're seeing this so I want to go around and mark each of the corners same side okay and then draw a line down it like I'm showing you here. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and glue this on here like that. And so that the uh, front of the centering ring is on the, on, on the marked line. And then remember to spin it around so that the edge that we just marked is on the same corner. And just check around the perimeter, make sure they're all the same. And then make sure that this is uh, straight up and down along the tube. So give it a kind of a spin, see if it's it tilted anyway. And just kind of correct that while the glue is still wet. You can see I took the other centering ring, the back centering ring, um, and I've, I've already, uh, I decided to go ahead and, and stain that black and, and then sand it and then stain it again. So this does have two coats on there. Um, but the, one of the problems is I, uh, now that these lines are kind of hard to see, but there's, there's um, alignment ticks right on the inside edge. There's, there's six of them, two for each fin. And those are going to be um, aligned on the tube. That's why we drew those tubes down there. Let's see if we can line this up. Okay, you can see this one a little bit better here. So you can see that line here is right in the line with that line. And that's to make sure that our fins are perfectly parallel with the tube and not, and not canted in either direction. So that's what that line's for, and that's what those tick marks are for. Because now we're going to glue a fin to it. See, now a fin has notches, um, these, has a little protrusion here at the tip. And come on, stay up. And then it has a little cutout here. And that little protrusion on the tip is going to go into the front centering ring. It's going to go right through it like that and then you'll notice here on the back it catches in that little tab right there and if, if you look down you can see my fin is crooked so I want to spin that back ring until it's nice and straight so that's what we're going to do is we're going to glue one fin at a time but we're not going to glue this back centering ring. There's no glue going to go on that centering ring right now. We want to be able to slide it off. 
We're going to glue the fins on without gluing that centering ring, but we, we're going to use the ring to kind of hold things in place because it works out really well that way. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, and I want to keep hardly any glue near that back corner because I don't want any glue getting onto that centering ring. So I'm going to kind of skip just a little bit and then put glue onto that little front tab. And I'm going to thin it out. Okay. And put it into the uh, slot. And then align it on the tube with, with my line. And I'm going to put the back ring on. and catch it into that little tab. Make sure everything's aligned properly. All right, just like that. All right, so I'm going to let this dry before doing the other fins. Now I can still remove that back ring, which I want to be able to do. And then once the glue dries, um, that fin will stay in place and I can put the next fin on. So I'm going to pause here. Well, actually, there's one more thing I can do. And that is, uh, on the coupler, is to put a fillet of glue on the outside to make sure that it, this is a nice, strong joint. So I'll put some glue, just smear it around. Now, on the inside, I'd like to be able to put some glue down there, too. I'm going to need a dowel. I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush as the doll. So I'm going, to, I'm going to try to get some glue to dribble on that edge. And then smear it around with the wood doll. I hope you can see that. So I got a fillet of glue on both the inside and the outside. And it doesn't have to be pretty. No one's ever going to see this, but it just adds a lot of strength to that uh, um, that bulkhead. So now I'm going to let all my glue dry, and then I'll come back and we'll we'll do another fin.